information on the lone gunman behind a fatal mass shooting at a bank in downtown Louisville, Kentucky. We now know the gunman worked at the bank and had learned he was about to be fired. Police say he left behind a note indicating his plans to shoot up the bank in retaliation. During the violence, he live streamed the attack. Eyewitness News reporter Derek Waller joining us now live with more. Derek. And David, a press conference underway right now in Louisville. The chief of police revealing moments ago they plan to release body camera footage of the officer's response. They also revealed that the bank employee just purchased that AR-15 last week. We have also learned that he purchased the weapon used in this tragic incident on yesterday on April the 4th. He purchased the weapon legally from one of the local dealerships. The gunfire echoing through downtown streets as people in the bank locked themselves in bathrooms, even reportedly hiding in the vault. Troy Hasty says he hid in the break room, then sprinted out the front door. We heard a click, and the lady next to me turned around and said, what the hell? And then he just started shooting. Whoever's next to me we got shot and hit bloods on me from it. Authorities say officers shot and killed the gunman, but there were still more than a dozen casualties. Now officials releasing the name of the five victims killed. Jim Tutt, Josh Barrick, Juliana Farmer, Deanna Eckert, and Tommy Elliott, a close friend of Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir. Tommy Elliott helped me build my law career, helped me become governor, gave me advice on being a good dad. He's one of the people I talk to most in the world, and very rarely were we talking about my job. Two police officers were also wounded, including Officer Nicholas Wilt, who graduated from the academy just 10 days prior. He was shot in the head and had to undergo brain surgery. Police now also naming the gunman, 25-year-old Connor Sturgeon, who worked at the bank but was recently given notice he was about to get fired. And ABC News also learning that the shooter left a note to his family. The police chief also saying they are now executing a search warrant at the shooter's home.